Hey gang. So technically, both hands on the wheel, and uh, hopefully the background noise is not too bad. This is really a video for me to capture my uh, impressions and thoughts, <clears throat> but it may end up being posted, so I'll try and keep everything reasonably coherent and legitimate. I just spent probably the better part of two and a half hours, thereabouts, maybe even uh, maybe even three hours, with Steve Overton. And those that know Steve will immediately recognize his name as a uh, one of the early designers of uh, historical scenarios for a combat mission. Very famous PC game back in the day. It's kind of ASL on the PC. And he was one of the first guys to actually come out with and come up with historical scenarios. And he in fact made over a hundred of them. And they were very, very well received. So he has a pretty strong background in scenario design, understanding history, pulling things together, stuff like that. Of course, Steve has done, uh, gone on to do other things. He's been involved in the, uh, I always call it Operation Flashpoint, but uh, Flashpoint campaigns, and now I've got the sun behind us, uh, Flashpoint campaigns, uh, slow down, it's 55, uh, Flashpoint campaigns, uh, Red Storm game, which is a third, let me see if I can do that, that helps, third world war, DC game, fantastic game, love it. It's got a few challenges here and there, uh, but generally speaking, really interesting game. I, in fact, I dropped a post today about uh, a brand new scenario that should be releasing today in regards to, uh, it's a big 14 hour long scenario, hundreds of counters, hundreds of pieces, and it's a attack, counter attack, defend situation. It looks very, very cool. So, how does what what does that have to do with wargaming at all? Uh, Steve is a retired, semi-retired chap and ex-military combat engineer. Done all sorts of different roles in the army. We spent quite a bit of time talking about his uh, activities and actions in the army. Uh, been stationed in Germany for three years as a combat engineer, learning how to blow up shit. It's always cool, right? And uh, so, let me turn the radio off. So, he has developed and is developing several games, and many of those are, I would say, after talking with him, are the fruit of being frustrated with game systems as they stand today. Which, you know, I bet that's obviously that's I bet that's the catalyst for a lot of guys, right? But his one uh, one game in particular, which has been picked up by a publisher, is and it's going to have a different name, but it, it was called Contact Now, and you can find it on the Consum World Forum, and it has some really fugly maps and graphics, and it looks like my video is getting out of sync again. That's awesome, uh, but. It's going to be set in the modern era and focus in on pseudo World War Three activities. So, probably tie nicely into the research and the work that he's done on uh, the Operation uh, uh, Flashpoint stuff. And I know for a fact that he has already designed several modules and several sets of counters, so we're going to have Americans and Russians, we're going to have Germans, we're going to have the British, the BAOR, forces, scenario packs, going to build off his scenario design skills. So I, I've i played this game one time for two turns, or maybe three turns, and what I took away from that game was a... Uh, a kludging together of different systems to make something that he liked 
and they didn't really fully appreciate some of the finer points of the mechanics because we didn't really get into the game. We only got, you know, two turns into it. And as we were talking about games and game systems and what designers do right and what they do wrong and how they arrive at their conclusions and stuff like that, uh, I began, you know, uh, sharing some of my uh, ideas and things that I find frustrating or interesting in tactical level games. And uh, we had that, that conversation and as we spoke, we started talking about this Contact Now system and how that would cater to many of those facets, uh, the things that I'm interested in. And I'll give you an, an, an uh, for instance. Uh, I, I think that games that give you a constant capability to execute at a consistent level throughout the game don't really show you the ebb and flow moment to moment of warfare or perhaps uh, day to day or week to week. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to see a game that gave you the ability to, as the momentum improved for you and the weight of the offense or the defense went to your favor, you got to do incrementally more than your opponent. And so we talked about that and he explained to me how that works in his system and I'm not going to share that with you right now because I think that gives away a really cool critical piece of his design and since it's not out yet I'm not going to share that with you. Uh, so we talked about things like that. So here's this uh, tactical system coming up which I am uh, now far more interested in and given that it's set in the modern era I think that that's a portion of the marketplace that is underserved today so I think it, it deserves uh, some exposure and some interest and some feedback and I'm looking forward to the artwork being re-rendered and finalized for that game and the and what that uh, system will actually end up looking like and getting a, a playtest vassal module of that so there's that uh, he and I went at it about the Dark Valley. I slowing, am slowing down right now because I'm doing 80 and a 55. Uh, went at it about the Dark Valley. Uh, he expressed his dis dissatisfaction with that and he explained his conversation he had with Ted Racier about that game. And we talked about what I liked about it and where I thought the flaws were with the system. And don't get me wrong, I, I like the Dark Valley. I don't believe the Germans can win, just like all the other guys who say it's broken think the Germans can't win. The Germans actually can't win. But you still kind of feel like you almost can. And sometimes games, games are, despite the fact that you absolutely cannot win, it's interesting to still play them. And the Dark Valley seems to bring that out for me similar to Angola. Angola is a game that you know, the communists can never win. But you can uh, you can play it a lot uh, and still enjoy it. So anyway, so we talked about East Front. Well, he's building and designing and you know, probably 75% of the way there on an East Front title that will explore some of the finer grain history at an operational level that sounds very very interesting to me it'd be a chip pool based game similar to Racia's concept but it'll have a more uh, what's the right way to put this a more open model that more fairly or more perhaps more accurately represents history and gives the German player and the Russian player more choices to make as opposed to either railroading the history which some games do or building the rules and special rules and exclusions to prevent non-historical things from happening. That's, that's how I'll put that down there. Um, talked about a couple other titles that are further off in the future and it's probably not worth touching on those at the moment but what I wanted to leave 
myself with if this ends up being a self-recording and not a published post. I uh, wanted to leave us with an impression that we should be watching for designs from Steve Overton. Uh, he also uh, spent some time working on uh, scenarios and an expansion module for Fireteam and uh, has also designed ASL scenarios and things like that as well. So really uh, interesting guy. Like all of us, he's a lonely war gamer. <laughs> so he had a chance to chat and I, I had an opportunity to listen and uh, I took full advantage of that opportunity and we had a really uh, good conversation, had a few good beers. I had a few good beers. He didn't have any. And uh, I'm looking forward to his games coming out. So anyway, that's a 11 minute run on uh, Steve Overton and his upcoming titles for Contact Now. There's a new module for the uh, Flashpoint campaigns coming out. Uh, there'll be the Southern Front. And then after that, there's a, a nifty set of enhancements and developments coming that are going to give the the game player uh, more fine-grained control over how the AI is applied to your own units. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So lots of good stuff coming. Talk to you soon. Need to concentrate on this road. And uh, adios, mofos.